Kyle Turner for NECFrontRow.com here to bring you the spring top plays of the week. Starting off at number 10, Bryant freshman Michael Plute clinches the third straight NEC men's tennis title for the Bulldogs, winning his number four singles match in two sets. Number 9, Robert Morris's Kristen Gabelt dives to make the catch in right center field. The Colonials would go on to sweep the doubleheader against Bryant. By Kristen Gabelt as she ranged from left to right and was able to glove that one. And that is a beautiful defensive play by the Colonials right fielder. Number 8, staying in Moon Township. NEC Men's Lacrosse Player of the Week, Robert Morris's Luke Laskowitz comes from behind the goal and sneaks one past TJ Jones for one of his three goals on the day. The Colonials would go on to hand St. Joseph's its first ever NEC regular season loss since the Hawks joined the league in 2014. Number 7. Sacred Heart's Danielle Dini catches the pass and scores on the backhanded shot to extend the Pioneers lead against LIU Brooklyn. Number 6, St. Francis U's Madison Cavill ties the game up with one swing as she crushed this one to center field for the Grand Slam. Number 5, Bryant's Dan Salucci looking like a wide receiver making the catch while looking over his shoulder and sliding to secure the third out of the inning. Becky's payoff pitch, swing a soft fly ball to center field, long run for Albanese. It's Salucci though, going out and making a great catch. With his back to the infield, he makes an over the shoulder basket catch and the inning is over. Number four, St. Joseph's taking on Penn in overtime. Mike Restivo finds Kevin Forster for the game winner to give the Hawks their first ever win over the Quakers in 13 all-time meetings. Yeah. And a score! Yeah, Forster. Forster. Forster punches it home. He freed up. I mean, I got a little nervous there as soon as I saw Gayhart hung up. Number three, St. Francis U softball tied an NCAA record with five home runs in the first inning of game two of their doubleheader against Bryant on Saturday. After all was said and done, the Red Flash hit a combined 12 home runs in the two games. Number two, against St. Francis U, Robert Morris's Jessica Karwacki scored her first goal of the game after winning the opening draw and finding the back of the net just nine seconds later, marking the third fastest goal from the start of a game in NCAA women's lacrosse history. The senior then tied an NCAA record for fastest goal from the draw, needing just six seconds to score her fourth goal of the game. And our top play of the week belongs to Fairleigh Dickinson's Joel Roman. The senior hit this walk-off home run in the bottom of the 10th inning to give the Knights a 7-5 win over the Pioneers. The walk-off two-run homer and FDU salvages the final game of the four-game series with Sacred Heart 7-5 in 10 innings. Roman's third home run of the series coming into this series with Sacred Heart. He had only had one all season. Roman, the walk-off two-run homer, and the Knights win 7-5. And there you have them. Those are your top plays from the past week in Northeast Conference Spring Sports Action. For NECFrontRow.com, I'm Kyle Turner, and we'll be back next week with more top plays from the spring sports.